could you tell us something of the excellence of the night prayer, Qiyamul Layl, in Islam? As far as the excellence of Qiyamul Layl, the night prayer is concerned, there are several verses in the Quran, there are several hadith talking about it. I'll just mention a few of them. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Sajdah, chapter number 32, verse number 16, talking about those people who are people of paradise, those who go to Jannah, and he describes these people that their limbs do forsake the bed of sleep and they call to the Lord in fear and hope. That means they leave aside their sleep and they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in hope and in fear, in taqwa. And continues, and they give in charity from the sustenance they have given, talking about the people of Jannah. Further, if you read in the Quran, it's mentioned in Surah Dhariyat, chapter number 51, verse number 17 and 18, that these people, talking about the people of Jannah and the righteous people, they sleep very little in night. And during the early hours of dawn, these people, they pray for forgiveness. Allah further says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 64, that these are the people who spend their night in adoration of their Lord, standing and in prostration, in Qiyam and in Sujood. There are various verses in the Quran. There are various hadith talking about the excellence of this night prayer. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sai Muslim, volume number one, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2612. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the best prayer after the prescribed prayers, after the prayers which are obligatory, which are fard, it is the night prayer. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Tahajjud, hadith number 1131. The beloved Prophet said, the best prayer is the prayer of Dawud al -Salam. And the best fasting is the fasting of Dawud al -Salam. And Dawud al -Salam, he is to sleep the first half of the night. Then he is to spend the next one third of the night in praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the rest of it, the one sixth of night, he is to again sleep. You are again talking about the excellence of the night prayer. A beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Tahajjud, hadith number 1142. A beloved Prophet said that when a person sleeps, the Satan, he ties three knots at the back of his head. And after tying each knot, he whispers and he blows and says, the night is long, so keep on sleeping. And when a person gets up and remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the first knot is undone. When he does the wudu, the second knot is undone. And when he prays, the third knot is undone. And the person is energetic. And inshallah, he'll be on the straight path for the full day. On the other hand, if he gets up without taking the name of Allah, without doing wudu, without offering salah, then he's lazy and his heart is mysterious. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad further said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1656. Our beloved Prophet said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He descends to the lowest part of the heaven in the last one third of the night. And He says that, is there anyone who wants to supplicate to me? And I will answer him. Is there anyone who wants to ask from me? And I will give it to him. Is there anyone who wants to seek forgiveness? And I will forgive him. Is there anyone who wants to invest a good deed with me? For I am not unjust and not wasteful. And he continues this till the break of dawn. And there are various excellence spoken about the night prayer. For example, in a Sai Hadith of Tirmidhi, Book of Supplications, Hadith number 3579, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the servant is the closest to his Lord in the last one third of the night. And if he asks him, and if he prays to him during this time, it is the best time that he can pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi in the book of supplications, Hadith number 3499, that when a person asked, that which is the best time to pray? 
the beloved Prophet ﷺ said that the best time that a prayer will be answered is during the last one third of the night and after the prescribed prayers, after the five obligatory prayers, if you supplicate, then inshallah that's the best time to ask for supplication and the last one third of the night. It's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1417, the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has added one more prayer for you, that is Obitar. And if anyone wants to pray five rakat in Vitar, he may do so. If anyone wants to pray three rakat for Vitar, he may do so. If anyone wants to pray one rakat for Vitar, he may do so. It's further mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the book of Salat, hadith number 1303. The beloved Prophet Muhammad said that a person who gets up in the middle of the night and prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wakes up his wife and if she doesn't wake up then sprinkle some water on her Allah's mercy and blessing is on such people and that this further continues that Allah's mercy and blessing are on those women who wake up in the middle of the night and they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they wake up their husbands and if the husbands don't wake up they sprinkle water on them so again it is one of the best prayers after the obligatory prayers. A beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu further said, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, or number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 1302. The Prophet's wife, Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she said that the Prophet used to always pray the Qiyamul Layl, and he never missed it. Even when he was sick and ill, all lethargic, he used to pray, even though he used to pray by sitting. He never missed it. So this was a few of the hadith and few Quranic verses which speak about the excellence of the night prayer.